What's up everyone, Adam from the AeroWorks Workshop. Super Duty fans, back here in the workshop, working on the rudder today. If you're not familiar with the Super Duty rudder, uh, as an early adopter of any kit, you don't always get the latest upgrades and updates and things like that, and I was one of those people. So when I originally built my rudder kit, which was well before I ordered the Super Duty kit, it was about two, two and a half years before I started working on the actual aircraft itself, Zenith was not cutting this out, this nose skin on the rudder. And if you're buying or if you're building a rudder kit right now, you're gonna notice that this nose skin already has this nice archway cut out. And that's what clears both the horizontal uh, tail as well as some of the fairing work that's on the rear of the Super Duty. So didn't know that, rookie mistake. It was the first piece I built. It was the only piece I had. Didn't know any different. I assembled it all, thought I was done. Had my tail powder coated, which I have done with some of the other parts of my aircraft, and it has this nice orange finish on it. So what I've got to do now, I got a template from Zenith. Roger made a template for me. It's not an exact thing, but it is a guide. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this up. We're gonna tape it off, and we're gonna incrementally uh, bring that line up to here as we test fit it uh, over the horizontal uh, tail fin as well as, as well as mounting the rudder up itself. And we, between using a Dremel tool and the belt sander, we'll bring this thing into current spec and hopefully we don't mess up this edge too much. I can always put a little trim piece on there. Uh, I guess we'll see. So you're along for the journey. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get this thing fixed. All right guys, about to get started here. I'm using my, uh, one of my older Dremels. This is a Dremel that has a flexible shaft so I can kind of steer this around like a dentist tool. I've got the quick release uh, Dremel cutoff wheel attachment on there. And I'm gonna be trying two different Dremel uh, wheels. I've got a thin cut and I've got a Dremel metal wheel. Um, we'll see which one goes through better. If the, if the metal one goes through, we'll probably stick with that one because I have more of them. Um, if the thin cut does a better job and uh, doesn't break, then we'll use that one. So let's get started. We'll go ahead and give a, just try a test cut down here since we're gonna be cutting that off anyway. No, no problem cutting that. So we'll probably just work our way along this line and then we'll finish it up with a belt sander. Side one done. Well, there she is. Wasn't too difficult. Got it trimmed off. I actually have a cool idea for what I'm gonna do with this piece. But anyways, there it is right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and use the uh, portable belt sander and see if we can kind of clean up the edges a little bit and uh, finish them off. That's a good starting point. We'll start checking a fit and uh, we'll go from there. So, thanks for watching. It's already looking closer, that's a good thing. So we'll get some bolts in there and see how she looks.
right, guys. Well, we got the tail on, and uh, it's looking good so far. Of course, we're going to have to do some fitting of the rudder fairing and that and uh, the horizontal stabilizer. But one more, one more step done. One more bite of the elephant has been eaten. So many more to come. Lots more progress coming up. Uh, appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you on the next video.